Police identified the three-year-old girl shot and killed in southeast D.C. last night. Police say Taya Settles was inside a car when she was struck. Tonight, a memorial lays where her life was tragically cut short. News 4's Dominique Moody spoke to her family. Soaked dolls along with flowers make up this memorial for three-year-old Taya Settles. It's here where the young girl's life was tragically cut short. Settles' godfather, Bernard Brown, started the memorial to honor the little girl who meant the world to so many. Ty was very bright and smart. She loved to laugh, joke, and play, and she had a good sense of humor. Last night, D.C. police responded to Hartford Street in Southeast for a report of a shooting. Moments later, the three-year-old was found at a nearby fire station on Irving Street. She was airlifted to the hospital, where she later died. Investigators say Settles was inside a car when an exchange of gunfire erupted. The senseless killings of these children, toddlers, infants, adolescents has got to stop. It has got to cease. Violence in the city right at this moment is a difficult thing. Uh, families are suffering. Evident remnants of last night's shooting was evident with bullets striking this car steps away from Settles Memorial. ANC Commissioner Joseph Johnson says action is needed to cut down on crime that's leaving so many families grieving. I'm calling on our city leaders to act, uh, to do something because Ultimately, the blood is on their hands. They have the power to do something, uh, and, and it's not working, and families are losing loved ones every day. Meantime, the family says they're praying for justice as they try to lean on the memories of three-year-old Taya Settles. Taya will be missed dearly. She will be loved dearly. If you have any information about the shooting, you are asked to contact police. In the district, Dominique Moody. News 4.